there is a big transition happening in the automotive industry. There is a significant shift towards the electric vehicles. This will have major business impact because most of the complicated mechanical parts are not required for an electric vehicle. This will have an impact for the future career scope as well. There will be a transition, there is a shift. If you are not from an electronics background, doesn't mean that you cannot switch to the electronic industry. I am from mechanical background and with some background studies and work, I was able to switch to electronic industry. I am going to explain electronics in a very simple way. So you can understand even with zero background on electronics. If you are from mechanical background, try to learn both. That will make your career amazing. We have already studied this. The proton, neutron and electrons. Moment of free electrons is nothing but electricity. And the substance which has more free electrons will conduct more electricity. When I say flow of electricity, you cannot easily visualize. But when I say flow of water, you can visualize. Because you have seen water flowing. For easy understanding, let's consider water as electricity and the flow of water as flow of electricity. Conductor. Conductor is a substance which allows electricity to pass through it. If electricity is water, a hollow pipe is a conductor. Voltage. The value represents the potential difference between two points. Let's try to visualize in a waterfall. Water on top of the waterfall will have more potential energy in it than water in the bottom of the waterfall. This potential energy difference between these two points is called as voltage. Current. Value representing the flow of electrons. Measured in amps. Let's try to visualize that in just a river. A flowing river. Instead of electrons, the water flows. There is a current. Power. The transfer of electrical energy from one form to other form. We all know the law of conservation of energy. This is measured in watts. Visualize is that an electric bulb or water flows and water runs a turbine and it generates electricity. The energy has been converted from one form to other form. Resistance. Opposition of flow of electrons. Let's try to visualize that in a river. Just look at this river. There is a lot of obstacle and not allowing the water to flow freely. This is measured in ohms. And the components used for this purpose is called as resistors. Capacitance. Phenomenon which stores the energy in the electric field. Let's try to visualize that in a dam. The river flows and when the dam is constructed, it stops the water. And more and more water flowing towards that will create a potential energy there. And this will run out of the energy if not more water is filling to the reservoir. This potential energy of water you can relate to voltage in electricity. A capacitor is a dam. Inductance, the device that stores energy in the magnetic field and measured in Henry. Let's try to visualize that in a water wheel. When the river flows, the flow of the river, the flow of the water pushes the wheel and the wheel rotates and it stores kind of energy. And if the water stops, the wheel will continue to push the water down the channel. And meanwhile, this will also run out of energy if no more water pushing the wheel. And these inductors are made by coiling wire around a core. It can be used to store energy and transform power. Diodes allows us to control the current in one direction. Imagine a pipe in which water is flowing and you install a valve in that so that the water should pass only to one direction. This is the job of a diode. Water flowing in one direction, on the other side it's obstructing the flow in the other direction. Semiconductor. Water is flowing through the pipe and what if you put some stones and other obstacles into it? It reduces the flow of water. So materials whose electrical conductivity lies between that of insulator and conductor. It can act as electrical conductor or insulator based on the chemical alterations given to it. A transistor. You might have heard about the floodgate. A floodgate can stop the water and it can control the flow of water based on the lever operated. A transistor is just like a switch in the wall. But electrical voltage is used to turn the switch on and off instead of a lever. You can visualize a water reservoir, a source and drain and a floodgate in between. Which is used to control the flow of this water. PCBs, printed circuit boards, are laminated structure of conductive and insulating layers. 
PCB has mainly two uh, functions. One is affix all these electronic components within the designated locations and provide reliable electrical conductivity between these components. And this will have a microcontroller as well in which a software program is loaded just like an OS which is installed in your computer. And the software which is flashed into the microcontroller controls the device, controls the flow of electricity between these electronic components which are affixed into the PCB. Components Manufacturers These are the major companies they manufacture electronic components. And there are passive components and active components. Resistors, capacitors and inductors are called as passive components. They are not capable of amplifying or processing an electronic circuit. Semiconductors, diodes and transistors are able to control the electron flow through them. They are active components. Their circuit boards. The solder chip is printed on the board in which the electric connections are made by these lines. And electronic components that we discussed earlier are soldered into this printed circuit board to form the printed circuit board assembly. And the way these components are engineered and connected in the PCB decides the function of the overall component. These are some of the EMS companies or electronic manufacturing and service companies. These companies design, manufacture and distribute the electronic component assemblies as per the customer requirement. They usually buy the electronic component from the electronic component manufacturers and they buy the printed circuit board from the printed circuit board manufacturers and make the assembly. They make the electronic product, say a complete control unit and they supply to OEMs like Tata, MG and Daimler. So the future career opportunities in EMS industry and electronic component manufacturers are expected to go on a higher side. This is just the first step. Start learning more about electronics because future is electronics. And please comment below what you would like to know more about electronics. About the products, about the industry, about the career scope. Thank you.